Good evening. It's great to be here tonight. It's a very exciting project. We're very excited to be a part of it. City planners and engineers, we love our, our lingo and acronym, acronyms. And one of those is a complete street, shared streets, context-sensitive streets. What do we mean by a complete street? A complete street is a street that attempts to meet the needs of all of its users with, with appropriate facilities uh, f for those various modes. So it means a street that has, from a pedestrian standpoint, adequate, adequate sidewalks, adequate crosswalks, it feels safe. For transit, it could mean dedicated bus lanes, it could mean extensions at bus stops to allow the buses to not have to pull so far over to the curb. For cars, it hopefully means uh, not making traffic worse. For bicycles, it means you know, appropriate facilities for them. So this project is very much a complete streets uh, project. And in the case of Spring Garden, it's, it's relatively wide. It's uh, got 121 feet from building wall to building wall. So we can, we can really look at uh, a variety of improvements, contextually appropriate treatments that you wouldn't be able to do on, on other streets because they lack the width. So what does that specifically mean? We, we think of the Greenway project as a, as a catalyst for, uh, for other improvements um, you know, centered around stormwater management, community revitalization, and improving uh, the situation for cyclists more specifically. So the designs will include uh, protected bike lanes of, of some sort, which we are in the design process, and that protection could be in the form of a landscape buffer, uh, which you see here and here, or it could be in the form of a parking protected bike lanes where parking is pulled uh, off the curb at, su at a sufficient distance to uh, create bike space. So that's the complete street perspective for, for, for the cyclist. Stormwater. Spring Garden is at the top of the uh, stormwater shed, essentially. So this means that uh, all the stormwater in this area is essentially flowing downhill or to the south from Spring Garden. And that's a great opportunity for us to come in with, with improvements from a stormwater perspective to, to filter and retain the stormwater before it goes further downstream in the stormwater system. Um, and other, as other projects you know, to the south can do similar things, and this, it's a great starting point to be at the, the top of the, the storm shed. So whatever Spring Garden is sending downstream is, is better than it would be otherwise. Um, in terms of specific treatments, really neat things like rain gardens and bioswells and por porous pa pavement where uh, the water is, is diverted into these spaces and uh, infiltrates uh, slowly back into the ground. The intention is to ca capture the, the first one to two inches of, of rainfall and treat and retain that before it uh, moves into the stormwater system. Uh, other improvements for other users of the streets, other modes, uh, We'll be looking at uh, improvements for, for buses and certainly pedestrian improvements as well. And related to that are a variety of, of other amenities um, that, that should certainly overall uh, enhance the street and, and tie back to that community revitalization goal. As many of you may know, this is not the first planning project to look at the street. The Center City <coughs> Greenway Feasibility Study is really our jumping off point for the, the start of this project. <clears throat> that study concluded with, with two options or two alternatives for <clears throat> Spring Garden Street, a median greenway option or a curbside greenway option. And I'll describe those in a bit of detail. The median greenway option would, uh, well in both scenarios, the travel lanes for cars would be narrowed from the existing 12 feet, which is relatively generous, to, to 10 feet which is still perfectly fine, um, and that excess space would be reallocated to um, the median in this case or the, uh, or the curbside. So the way this would work, it would alternate, uh, and in some ways it's, it's very much a reflection of uh, the function of the street today, particularly at the western end, where you have alternating landscaped medians with <coughs> uh, turn lanes and concrete medians, but those spaces would be those spaces would be expanded uh, by taking the space, again, from the wide travel lanes and the bike lanes, which would be reallocated to, to the median. Uh, here you see the, uh, the section for uh, the, 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 the right-hand plan view, where the median is, uh, uh, where, the, where the bike space is in the center of the median, 
uh, with uh, edged by landscaping. And this would be a relatively uh, generous space, about 30 feet wide. Um, looking at the section for the left side of the plan view, uh, this would be um, alternating uh, a bike space and uh, left turn lanes. So again, it would be th this, this option is um, alternating. Well, actually, there we go. So here's um, some existing uh, median greenways um, that have a lot of similarities to how it could look on Spring Garden. Um, wouldn't be either of these exactly, of course, um, but uh, this would be the, the, the sort of analogous to the uh, configuration where you have the landscaping, and then this would be analogous to the other blocks where uh, you have to accommodate the left turn lanes. So um, I don't. This is sort of the the extremes, and I see something that's that's more of a of a hybrid, um, perhaps, but uh, to give you a, a visual sense of how that might look. The curbside greenway. Uh, curbside greenway would again take the uh, travel lanes, narrow them from 10 to 12 feet, reallocate that sp space curbside. So uh, cars would be pulled off the, um, should probably easier to see here. Cars would be pulled off the curb line and uh, the, the space would become a protected bike facility. Now, how that actually looks, uh, and, and here's a couple of, you know, here's Ninth Avenue in New York and a lovely street in Sydney, Australia. In this case, the, uh, the bike space is actually at a, at a mid-grade uh, between the uh, carriageway or cartway for cars and the sidewalk. So there's like a three-inch step down here and then another three-inch step down here. Um, in this case, uh, this was done uh, on the cheap uh, relative to this one, and uh, <coughs> so... <laughs> Uh, the, not as much hardscape, but uh, you can imagine, for instance, th this could be completely built out uh, and be a landscape strip, and actually uh, th this would be, uh, th this design would be uh, somewhat analogous to what's being discussed for uh, Market Street and, uh, and JFK Boulevard uh, in terms of that, that landscaped buffer uh, off from the curb with the bike space between the sidewalk and, and that uh, curb. So, um, each of these have a variety of uh, pros and cons, and we will be exploring those in a lot of detail to get to a preferred option. Um, when we have the meeting in December, we will be working with you on, uh, on what that preference might be, and we've got some exercises that uh, Spencer will be describing in more detail uh, where you can express your opinion on the, the two options, because we need to bring... Uh, need to come to a decision sooner rather than later and around around the two alternatives and whatever the preferred option is uh, get into all the much more involved uh, design and analysis associated with that so 